Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to learn about Python scope. There are two different kinds of scope. One is the local scope, the other one is the global scope. What are this? We are going to learn everything in detail. So please do watch this video till the end. And before we get started, please do subscribe to, to my channel and please do support me. With that, let's get started and understand what are these two different scopes and how to really utilize it in a Python code. So first of all, to understand the local scope and global scope, let's create a function. Okay. So the function will be created with this syntax. You can give any name that you want. Okay. And then I am going to write a variable. Let's say I'm going to say a is equal to 500. And I'm going to say print and I'm going to say a. Now, if you call this specific function, right, this, this way you can call the function by taking the name of the function. Now, if I call, what is the value will be printed? Of course, 500, right? So now what is happening? This function, this value of this a remains 500 all the time. Let me first run it, right? And this variable a, which is getting printed through this function, the value is 500. Now, is this value a local value to the function or not? Yes, of course, it is a local value to the function. How do I know that? If I simply, if I say a is equal to outside the function, if I'm writing 600, if I'm writing 600 outside, or let's say below this, right outside the function, if I'm writing a is equal to, let's say 800, I'm writing two different values. Now tell me, is it going to print 800 or 600 by any chance? No, it's not going to print. Now, if I say print A, I'm going to say print A. Now tell me, is it going to print 600, 500 or 800? Right? It should print the 800, the latest one, right? So if I run it, for the first function, it has printed 500 for this one. Of course, we know because that's a local variable. But for the line number 8, it has printed 800. So any variable outside of the function, right will become a global scope it will come under a global scope that variable can be used anywhere inside your python code very simple so that becomes a global scope variable or you can say global variable and anything inside the function will be known as a local scope this must be understood now what if i am going to ask you something okay i'm going to let me delete, delete that and what if i am going to write a child function inside the parent function so i'm going to say child function okay and here if i say print and i'm going to say a plus one now what would happen um is it going to the child function which i've created will it simply work no for that i have to call it by going to the main block so i'm going to the main block and in the main block i should be able to call it so how i am calling it child function so what would happen anytime you are calling this function let me remove the line number of this one. Okay, so now when I call this function, what would happen? A value of 500 would get assigned and in the line number 5, it is going to print 500. Now, anyways, this, this two lines won't run until unless they are called. So here, if you see in the line number 8, it is called within the function I am calling the child function. So what would happen? It will come back to the line number 6 and is going to run this particular code which is a plus one now because it's a plus one it is going to print over here in the line number seven and it should print 500 and 501 now let's run it so uh, you know so you can see 500 and 501 has been printed now what do you say this variable is a local variable you know local local to the function anything created outside of it will become a global variable even if you are taking the same name doesn't matter right once it is outside the variable is going to take its own value whatever you are going to mention it here for example a is equal to if i'm going to say uh, 800 now this a variable will have a go global value of 800 so anytime in general if you are using this particular variable let's say for example if i say a is equal to a plus 100 if i say so the output will be what the output will be 900 right now if you see for the line number 7 uh, line number 10 it has printed what 500 and because it's calling the child function it has printed 501 but again in the line number 12 it has printed 900 
getting it so this is what the local scope and a global scope what you need to learn anytime what do you find local scope global scope you are you can you can think of okay function inside that if there is a variable that i will call it as a local look with a local scope and a global scope anything outside of a function if it is created then that becomes a global scope scope variable right so with this little bit of knowledge because there are so many things to remember in python there are so many multiple syntaxes that one has to master so it is easy to remember with an example if you could recall the example it is quite easy to remember what is a local scope and what is a global scope okay so with that um, you know we are going to come up with more such interesting small bites of information which you can easily capture and read and will be able to utilize in the upcoming uh, sessions that we are going to come with more complex things once we are done with all this kind of small small uh, uh, you know topics once this all done then we will get get on to the real time practical scenarios and try to build something out of it okay so that will happen only when you know all these things at least aware of all these things so anytime i am creating a new project you will be able to see okay okay so you can recall and you will be able to relate if you know what they are right okay great so we, we are going to meet once again in our next content thank you guys please do subscribe to my channel i hope you have already done that so kindly subscribe to my channel we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye